G'day and welcome back to Dark Solar Gaming and our Let's Play series on the Fenton Forest, the four times map by Stevie. We are continuing down with our farming. We are heading out to the southeastern side of our farm and we are going to get ready to pick up some more some more hay, actually. Uh, so we're just taking the forage harvester down there and we're going to set him up and we're going to collect some hay down there. We also need to go back up and get uh, one of our cedars down here as well and seed one of our remaining fields that's not seeded yet and we'll do that directly as well and then we'll get one of the hired hands to deal with that field for us we are progressing through we are just in day six we're in mid-spring and uh, things are going well so far we uh, haven't got anything really to complain about ground temperature is five degrees which means we can uh, all of our fields should be germinating nicely and uh, starting to get some growth and we've already obviously harvested our first field of grass which is down where we're heading to now so uh, yeah everything's progressing well so the plan is to continue on with prepping these fields bringing the hay off this field over here if it's all uh, dried successfully and hopefully it certainly has finished drying so a big component of it had previously dried and we took some of that off um, so the plan is we are going to we're using an overloader with this this is the class jaguar 800 series forage harvester and what we are going to do is we're going to head up here collect all the hay and then we're going to bring one of our trucks with trailers down here and we're going to offload the overloader which is what i'm going to load the jaguar into um, into those trucks and bring them back to the farm uh, so that way we can get a, a fair bit of bulk transported in one go but Time will tell. We need to check to see if we've got this grass turned into hay because uh, that's the preference. We want to take the hay away, not the grass. So we'll just uh, bring this down here, see where that's at. Uh, and then, like I said, we also do need to get a tractor down here with the cedar so we can get seeding on this other field that's off to our right hand side currently. All right, so here we go uh, with the field. As you can see, most of our grass has now turned into hay, which is great. So we're going to Hop back out there, we're going to get this guy ready. Unfold, unfold the header and lower it. I've got the overloader ready to go. We're going to power up and see how we go. We haven't actually used this as yet here on this field. In fact, we haven't used it on this farm. Uh, but it looks like it's going to work fine. There we go. Alright, so we might as well, while we're here, get one load done and then we'll head back up and grab the truck and trailer, bring that down, and also the tractor and the cedar. So we've got plenty of work to do already, even though we're uh, mi early to mid spring. But there's always work to be done, and most of this grass here, by the look of it, has actually transitioned and dried it into hay, which is wonderful makes it nice and easy for us. So the overloader we're using is only a 50,000 litre overloader. That's uh, more than sufficient to deal with what we need to deal with. So uh, we'll just collect all that up and then offload that like I said into one of our semi-trailers. So we'll come up through here. So it is all the grass is actually dried by a little bit, which is good, not just most of it. That makes it even better. So that means we don't have to worry about uh, waiting for any more time to pass for it to dry. And we can just go about collecting it all up. head down this this row here now and start collecting this now with it being the grass we don't need to worry too much about uh, the truck coming on it they won't compact it too much uh, after we've just mowed it so uh, we'll bring the truck directly onto the field for some of our other crops we probably would worry a little bit more about crop compaction or, or soil compaction but uh, for this field we're not going to worry about it because after we do our second running of grass we'll then uh, plow it all in and go from there again. A 
good looking machine this one do enjoy this this is a good little mod um, I can't remember where I actually got it from but it is a, a pack that I found uh, the Jaguar 800 pack um, as opposed to the Jaguar 900 pack which I also found uh, which is nowhere near as good in quality or build or anything else so um, yeah all right so that's that so what we're going to do now is we are going to get the overloader ready that is full and we're going to head back up to the farm and we're going to grab one of our trucks and the trailers and get this up and running all right so the trucks are over in here um take this one out all right head on over here and grab our trailers so we've got a b trailers set up over here ready to go now, I could have taken the man there as well with the uh, Agriliner trailers, but uh, I think this will be a better option for that field particularly. Alright. So we'll head on down. Now we have got the uh, auto drive mod enabled. We are currently setting up the auto drive paths for this map. Uh, we haven't got anywhere near completed, so uh, we're not going to be using those for the moment. But uh, the plan is to use those in conjunction with course play, and uh, we should be able to do everything then using both of those mods to semi automate a lot of the operations here at the farm. Certainly makes it a lot easier by uh, having the auto drive courses set up and then integrating that as part of the pathing for units to go back and offload to silos or refill or all that sort of stuff um, as opposed to recording each individual path with course play so uh, we'll be interested to see how that works we've um, been a little bit late coming to that party so to speak but uh, we'll give it a good go and see how it works as we are doing it as well, I'll sort of do it in, on a tutorial basis and just sort of show you how things are being set up. Um, I won't show you a tutorial on how to set up the actual paths themselves in AutoDrive, but certainly once we're actually engaging in the combined route with AutoDrive and course play, we'll go through that step by step for sure. All right, so we're gonna head on in here, offload our Jaguar and when we've done that we're actually just going to head back up and we're going to grab the cedar like we said and get them starting on this field to our right so there's a jaguar off to our left we're just coming up on now take the cover off the uh, first trailer and in we go Oh, well, obviously we're not going to be able to use these trailers because they're not going to take hay. Well, all right. Well, there goes that plan. So what we'll do is we'll grab the tractors. I should have probably checked that before. We'll grab the tractor with the cedar and head that down and get that started while we then come back and uh, we'll bring them back up to the farm and get them changed over. All right, we're going to take the big Zerion with a Seahawk down. All right, off we go. All right, we keep away from the Atlas. We don't take the Atlas out or the shed. Okay, now we'll open it up and head on down. So most of this episode is just going to be uh, transitioning to and from that field. <laughs> anyway, 
All right, so what else has been going on? Uh, it's good to see that we have a good friend, uh, Grizz. Jerry uh, is back, Grizzly Bear Sims. Uh, gone through a bit of personal stuff. Been, meant he's been away from us for a while. Uh, but I'm happy to say uh, he's certainly looking at coming back into farm sim. He's, uh, he's asked myself and Eustace uh, in uh, one of our Discord channels about what uh, farm we should look at, uh, what map. So uh, it'd be good to see him coming back to the fold. Uh, he has been doing, prior to him being away for a bit, doing a lot of his flight simming, uh, sort of transitioning to that for a bit, because obviously he, like many of us, came a little bit um, disinterested with, uh, with Farming Simulator 19, and uh, I think the break has probably done him well. So uh, we'll see, but maybe we'll see the the grizzly back behind the wheel in Farming Simulator 19 very soon. All right. Someone needs to smooth out some of these potholes on this track through here. <clears throat> right, this is the field we're supposed to be seeding, isn't it? Or is it? Let me have a quick look. Yes, it is. Right. So, let's uh, get this ready to go. We're going to unfold. Now we've got to work out what we're going to be planting here. I think we might put let me think. Now you know what? It wouldn't be one of my farms without grass. So we are going to put another big grass field in. <laughs> what are we going to do with the grass? No idea yet. We'll work that out when we get to it. All right, so let's bring up our course play. We're going to set that up quickly. We're going to do uh, seeding, which is fine. Course generation, we want to field 23. We're going to do a headland, whoops, two pass headland. We're going to start working on the up down rows. Uh, smooth headland corners, which is fine. One tool. And we're going to generate the field course. And there he goes. All right, so we're just going to come back here. And what we'll do is, because of the way this does this some... Oh, actually, no. Should be starting out there somewhere, shouldn't it? Let's just see how he goes. So we're going to go a first waypoint and drive course. And we'll see whether he finds his way to the start or not. Sometimes if you do it too far away, it can get a little bit confused. So generally what I tend to do is I'll get the start there to go right just before the start area, or I'll actually go a little bit into the actual course itself. So I think he might be heading over the other side of the field. I think that's where the, uh, the north-south runs might be starting. Let's have a look. So we're over here, yeah. So the, so the north-south runs are starting over here. So he's going to head over to this part of the field, um, and uh, he will then start. So that's over the, the western side of the field, and then he'll start doing south and then north runs. That's okay. So we can probably let him go now. Uh, there's the three D view. Oh, that's I hadn't noticed that before. Anyway, uh, get to turn that off. Right. So we're going to now head back. We're going to grab that truck, and we're going to take it back to the farm. Right, because it's absolutely no use to us here whatsoever. So these trailers are only going to be good for our standard crops. And I probably, like I said, should have looked at that beforehand. Anyway, alright, so it's getting a little bit dark now. It's 8.38 in the evening. So I uh, wasted a bit of time by coming down here with this as it is. We'll just swing by this way and see if we can see the... Uh, Cedar heading off. As long as we don't go into the field, we'll be okay. Should be down here on our left hand side as we're heading up towards the farm. There he is over there in the distance. Probably can't quite see him. 
Buffy is there. There you go. You can see a silhouette there just out through the right hand, left hand uh, window there. There he is. So he's already on his way up, which is good. So he's already started fielding, uh, fielding, seeding of that field. So we can just continue on to the farm and uh, then get back and see if we can offload that Jaguar and get him to finish off his job as well. We do want to pick up that hay before it gets wet. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get any rain or not, but uh, as soon as we can get it off the ground in the silos, the better off we're going to be. So that is what we want to do. <clears throat> Alright, so I think what we might do is we might actually just grab that man truck uh, with the Agriliner trailer and uh, use that for collecting the hay. Um, at least we know that should actually pick it up or accept it as, as part of its load. So instead of fluffing about, Like I say, we've only got the uh, the small haul masters there, so it's only the 50,000 litre. So uh, it's not as if it has to be uh, a huge road train to pick all that stuff up. All right, so here we are back at the farm. We'll head back in, just park this out of the way somewhere. But we'll just bring it around in here. In fact, we'll take it back to where it was. It's not going to hurt. Back the tidy yard is a safe yard. So if we put it back where it's supposed to be, then we'll all be good. Now we do need to go and look at getting our animals at some stage soon as well. So our sheep will be the first thing we get once we put some uh, some grass and some hay away. So uh, we're doing that very soon. All right, here we go. We're going to run over here, grab the man. And we'll head on back down again. Don't need course pay up. Don't need that up. All right. And again, I haven't used this vehicle before. We've uh, we've had it on a couple of maps, but haven't got to the point of using it. It's got a bit of get up and go too. So uh, details inside of it look okay. Trailer looks to be fairly sturdy behind. It's not jumping around too much, which is what we want. Off the road a little bit there, on the track. Might uh, bring up the lights, I think. Go out the cab and just see what it looks like. Yeah, not a bad looking unit at all. So, uh, not sure what the total capacity is of both units together. Um, but, uh, yeah, it should do alright. I hope, well, I think 44,000 might be the total for both, and if it is, that's okay. It just means we won't be able to fully empty out the overloader. There's a little bit left in there. There's our cedar there. He's uh, heading back on another run, which is great. So he's getting on with the job. Probably let him go. He's probably going to take a couple of hours to get that done. Uh, he can work through the night a little bit. Come um, into work a little bit later tomorrow, we'll be fine. We'll probably offload this load of the Jaguar, take it back up to the farm, and then we'll actually uh, head off to bed, transition through the night, and then come back on a fresh morning here on Fenton Forest. All right, so let's take two. All right, here we are. That's a bit better. Yeah, so 45,000 is our total capacity. Uh, we could possibly look at having a another trailer behind. I think this Agriline's got a rear hitch. 
um, and we could possibly look at doing that. Let's have a look. If it does, we could put another agri-liner on, uh, make a bit of a road train out of it. Certainly an option. We might look at doing that, I think. All right, so we'll head back up and we'll offload this into the silo and then uh, have a rest for the night. Here. <clears throat> so old mate over there, he'll probably go home shortly as well, and then he'll uh, resume early in the morning as well. So we'll come back in the morning and he'll uh, resume his seeding, and we'll resume our hay collection from the field. This is a great map by Steve. If you haven't already looked at it, it is a very good 4 by map. Um, any 4x map does mean you're going to have a bit of work on your hands because they aren't small uh, the solo play they are fine I think as a map um, as long as you are willing to use the AI AI vehicle extension or course play and slash auto drive um, just purely and well unless you want to spend a lot of time doing it which, which some people may want to do it just does take a long time to get to different places and, and get things done. But uh, if you've got the time and you're willing to do it, then uh, it's a very enjoyable map to do so. Now, Steve, he's not currently working on any more maps. Uh, he has said previously that uh, this will be the only map he does for Farming Simulator 19, well, apart from the fact he did Fenton Forest, so then he moved it up and did the Times 4 version. Uh, but he's going to now concentrate on working on his mods and things like that. So things like some of his factory scripted type stuff. And he did post on his Facebook page just the other day that uh, a bit of a preview of what looks to be his wood chipper, um, which will be a wonderful addition to the game when that comes out. So uh, we'll keep you abreast of what's coming out and what Stevie's got up his sleeve as best we can. And when it does come out, we'll certainly do a mod reviews to show you what he has got and when it's available. As always, all of his mods are available from the Facebook page for Stevie. All right, I'll come in here and offload. Oh, does not take hay. Why didn't that? <clears throat> I don't know why I couldn't tip from the uh, the truck. Find out soon enough. Should be about finished. There he goes. All right, let's have a look. Why won't this uh, tip side back? Oh, there we go. Uh, all right, it does work. Just uh, for some reason didn't pick it up. Anyway, that's all good. All right, so that's it. So that's what we'll do. Now we will also buy a third trailer, I think, for this, and we'll make it a uh, road train configuration just for something different. And uh, we'll have that ready to go in the morning as well. All right, so let's head back on over. We'll uh, retire for the evening. I'll take the truck over there. We won't bother walking over. Park the truck outside the uh, the roadhouse. A roadhouse, farmhouse. All right. here and we'll just get some sleep for oh, I think we'll say eight hours would be enough and we'll be right back when we're finished
Right, welcome back. Another new day and uh, a bit overcast today, but it should be okay. We're going to head straight back in and get to work before we have to finish off this episode. So what we're going to do is we're going to head in. We have got our trailer delivered. They delivered it early this morning. So we're going to quickly go off and grab that. Then we're going to head down to the uh, field and we'll get the Jaguar going a little bit longer. And uh, then that will be it for this episode. Hopefully I can reverse this thing in close enough to get it attached. It's always a bit of a challenge. There it is there. Alright, let's see how we go. Your first time, yeah. There we go. All right, there we have it. Now we've got 76,000 litre capacity, so uh, that's okay. So now I can do one and a half uh, augers, so that's uh, that's sufficient. That's fine. All right, we'll jump in cab and we'll head them back down to the field and then we'll be done. All right, so the other guy should be down here, continue on with the seeding, hopefully. Hopefully he rocked back up and just got straight back to work. And then uh, then we're almost at the point then, apart from uh, dealing with this grass field, at the point of just waiting for our seeds and our fields to, to finish. As you can see here, we've got a bit of growth here on our field. So uh, the field has started to, uh, to grow. Uh, crops over in there as well. We've, uh, we've sown. That one there hasn't got anything on it yet. Pretty sure we've seeded field five. Have to check that just to be sure. Put this one over here to our right looks okay. It's always a nice look seeing the uh, the fresh new crop breaking through the surface of the soil. So uh, yeah, he's over there. He's um working on, which is good. You might not be able to see him, he's going to be right at the top of the... There he's there, behind the mirror now. He's over there. Well, he's, uh, he's getting on with that job nicely, which is good. And we're going to head on over here, we're going to get the Jaguar going, and then uh, we can continue on with that process. Hopefully the, uh, the hay is nice and dry still. Now I know this trailer configuration is probably a little bit unrealistic, but uh, it's probably the better way to deal with this at the moment. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to bring this in here. Um, actually, now what I'll do is I'll bring it in in line with this row here, and then uh, we can bring <clears throat> bring the Jaguar to it and offload from there. In fact, what I'll do. We will offload the last little bit that's left in here because we didn't empty him fully. Right, so, alright, now what we'll do is we're going to grab him and we're going to continue on. Alright. And off we go. Alright, and that's where we'll begin to sign off for this episode because uh, we have well and truly reached our time. We're coming up to 30 minutes. So uh, thank you very much for joining us here at Duxler Gaming and our Let's Play here on Fenton Forest Farm. If you like the episode, press that like button. And also, if you are not a subscriber and you would consider subscribing, we would love to have you aboard as we're on our journey to 1,000 subs. And uh, if you do press that subscribe button, then please make sure you press that alarm notification icon so you're made aware of when new episodes or anything else are available on the channel. And apart from that, no matter whether it's morning, afternoon, evening or night, no matter where you are in the world, take care of yourselves and your loved ones. And we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Duck Zilla Gaming and Fenton Forest. See you all later. Bye.